a YouTube gang. This is uh, some some dude from the uh, Blizzard. It's watching this video on a uh, pretty good gaming, pretty good channel, um, and it's it's old news, but I've just been spending all morning preoccupied with how much I hate this guy. I hate his smug, freaking face. I hate, I hate everything about him. Okay, here's his stupid quote from this stupid uh, man with a net worth of 1.5 million dollars. Um, who is now moralizing to the teenagers and 20-somethings and whatever else who buy his video game and give him money. Um, if you're a bad person, we don't want you playing our game. Okay, um, so this is old news. I'm sorry, but this isn't a game gaming news channel. This is how is how is how is Terry Baker feeling today? And today I'm just preoccupied with how much I hate this guy. Um, he talks about bad behavior, and he actually blames it for people's um, for de de for development on the on this game being slowed, which is retarded. I tried the Bethesda, um, or why did I say Bethesda? I keep thinking about Bethesda too. I also don't like what they've been doing. I'll talk about that another time. Um, but Overwatch, I tried it for the free weekend, and I liked it. Um, I did not buy it because of this douche, because I don't like being moralized by this. Uh, $1.5 million CEO, executive, vice president, whatever he is, telling me um, about my personal life. Because I think everybody at some point has hurt somebody. And as much as celebrities and Silicon Valley douchebags like this guy tell you that they've never done anything wrong, they all have. Everybody has hurt somebody, including you. And it doesn't matter how good you think you are or how virtuous you are a bad person. We all are, and you're not better than anybody. See, the way I see it, people in the games industry have kind of like banded together to reject their fan base, and they act as if they are not complicit in the creation of their fan base. Um, they raised kids on... This guy's 45 years old. I think he started in 1998 or so. He definitely contributed to the rising of these people who are now mocked as man babies and, you know, basement trollers, etc., etc., by giving them these overstimulating, addictive murder simulators and just setting them loose. No concern for, like, um, what the effect on society would be or, like, uh, how those kids would turn out and what they are now. And the other thing is a lot of them haven't developed yet and they're still kids but you still have these grown ass people talking down to them talking about them like they're bad people and telling them that they're bad people and they don't need to hear that um and regardless i don't think that's a judgment for this guy because you could see it in his eyes this is the devil it's not their place um but really the most telling thing is that he blames all the censorship they have to do on why the development on the game has been slowed. How about you put the tools in the gamers' hands so they can uh, vote to kick people off if they're being douchey? They can silence people's microphones. Um, additionally, you could cut back on the censorship and just, if somebody's spamming emotes, block their use of emotes. If they're harassing people, block their harassment. And if it goes too far, then you can kick them off. But instead, it's not about being a good person. It's about wanting to be a good person and wanting to be an authority on what's good so he wants to be a good person i think someone who is truly virtuous would be ashamed and embarrassed to say this i would be i'm not even a good person but and that's one reason i won't play it because i don't want to be arbitrarily kicked off because this douchebag thinks i'm a bad person because i am a bad person just like him but i don't lie to myself i don't lie to everybody else you can tell he's a liar just by looking at him look at that lying freaking tech millionaire face you're garbage and all the sjw's that you're friends with are garbage and i'm not going to kill you i'm not going to stalk you i'm not even going to look at your twitter because i know what you have to say because everything you have to say is what all your friends are saying because you're you're just a repeat you're a copy of everybody else so don't have to worry about me harassing you because you're just you're just a copy and it sickens me that people like this have so much money and so much power because they abuse it and the whole time they say they're good and they're not hateful, but they're the most hateful, controlling, 
totalitarian type people ever. And I'm starting to cry because it makes me so sad. Anyway. I'm not going to play Overwatch because I don't like what this dude's about. And, uh, but yeah, check out Pretty Good Gaming. They're a good channel. Um, I think they're kind of in line with that guy's beliefs, but they're not too bad about it. And I'm a psycho. Don't trust his face, okay? This guy wants to take your $60, kick you off his platform, and then say what a bad person you are. And when you complain on Twitter, he will insult you. And I'm not basing this off anything I've seen, because I have not looked at his Twitter account, but I know what he is. He's just like everybody else. He's just like everybody else who's ever hurt.